Welcome back. How about raising our kids to be the best they can be? It's the goal, of course, for all parents and trying to teach your children certain skills can really help them be more successful, especially keyword certain skills. Absolutely. Here now with us is Dr. Laura Saunders, a child psychologist at the Institute of Living. Happy Wednesday, Doc. Hello, friends, and happy Wednesday. I'm so curious about this next segment. <laughs> you knew that was coming. Of course, of course. You had to spoil it for me. I had a big entree and no. No. Okay, here I go. As parents, we all want to raise confident and resilient children. So one researcher interviewed dozens and dozens of parents who raised highly successful people uh, and then tried to look at what skills those kids were taught at an early age to make them more successful. And there was one quality or trait that all of them endorsed um, as being critical to the long-term success of their children. And Scott, that trait is? Curiosity. 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 Curiosity it's not helps just the kids. That simple desire to know something, right? right? Curiosity is is something a little bigger than that. So children who are curious don't need to just not know the information they're inquiring about. They want to know so much more. So there are two kinds of curiosity. Yeah. So there are two kinds of curiosity. There's cognitive curiosity. I mean, we all know those kids that are kind of intellectual. They kind of they do things and they research things for their own benefit. And there's those uh, those kids that have a sensory curiosity. And I think this is just as important. Those kids that, that want to feel that, that experience, they want to try new things. They want to, you know, they want that sensory curiosity. They want to really stretch themselves for those sensations or those thrills. So it's not just sort of a cognitive curiosity. All right, well, how do you encourage and nurture curiosity? So I, I think it starts with trying to expose your child to a variety of different experiences or circumstances. And it's not just, you know, this is kind of the way we do things in our house and, and I did soccer, so my kids will do soccer. I mean, it, it has nothing to do with that. It's, it's trying to expose them to different things, trying to encourage more open-ended conversations and talking. Um, and it's trying to resist the temptation to make choices for your child and encourage more open-ended thinking. Right, and that, and that includes asking open-ended questions. Yeah, so if, right. for instance, sometimes I think as parents, we want to fix problems or we want to protect or whatever, and you could really get in the way. So instead, you'd want to be asking, like, well, what makes you think that way? Or how do you think that happens? Right, it's, it's kind of exploring. Sometimes I refer to it as like problem solving skills, like, like how did you come up with that? Or what made you, th what made you think to do that? Or it's trying to make them be curious, right? Think a little deeper. Um, as I said, sometimes I liken it to problem solving skills, like, okay, well, here's a problem. Well, why don't you c come up with some curious solutions and, and try them out, right? So, and, and part of this curiosity is actually developing a tolerance for frustration failure. and failure. Yeah, We've talked yeah. about this before. If you only are ever successful, you don't know how to tolerate failure and therefore you won't try new things. So there is some amount of it tolerating failure and tolerating frustration when you don't always get the answer that you're looking for. So, Do you think that, um, I guess, uh, they spend so much time in school and so much of it is about learn this, remember this. Uh, do, we, do, do we do a good job of raising curious kids the way we educate? So I'm going to go out on a limb and say we don't necessarily do a great job um, exploring curiosity. Although let me let me give that a caveat. I think in element early elementary school, I mean things like free play and recess, and those are the kinds of experiences where you can you can try out different things. Um, you know, I don't want to get off of my whole diatribe on play, but play is one of the most important things for mm -hmm. children to do mm -hmm. because it allows them to act out fantasies, come up with ideas. It really encourages curiosity. Okay. So things that parents can do at home and in schools, although there's a lot of like hitting the curriculum goals and guidelines in schools, um, All right. the more we can do to encourage curiosity, the better. Terrific.